The first thing the government has to do is to end the paralysis that is in the, there in the decision making. Uh, and that includes uh, not you know, just uh, clearing the projects from the cabinet committee, but uh, it, 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 it has to be effective in the sense of if there are land clearances or land acquisition clearances uh, associated with the project moving forward, then that has to happen also. So those sorts of things. So you know, no doubt we were growing at seven, eight uh, percent, and and it has not you know dropped to four point four. Investment to GDP ratio remains 30%, which is very respectable, a lot of excess capacity, so going back to the 8% uh, should not be too much of a struggle, but we need to. Gujarat is a way to illustrate what I think is one way to proceed, mm -hmm. and, and certainly, you know, a lot of the things in the way the Gujarat, that Gujarat has uh, run its policies uh, uh, is consistent with uh, the way I think of uh, the development process, meaning, you know, the big emphasis on growth. Uh, and of course, redistributive policies to go with it. Uh, and, and it is in that context that I cite Gujarat and contrasting it with Kerala, which has a very different kind of, uh, at least metaphorically, has a very different interpretation. The first thing they have to do, whichever government comes in, is to end the paralysis. Now, when a new government comes in, I think it's in a better position to actually, and that government will have to take the responsibility. And today, you know, uh, 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 there is great reluctance in, uh, uh, within the political class to say that buck stops with me, that responsibility is mine. If you do that, then the bureaucrats will begin to take decisions. I think a new government will be in a better position. They will have to do that. I mean, they're really going to break the logjam. That's the kind of beginning. Second, I think they've got to get started on beginning to build infrastructure, in particular road road building, uh, it, uh, highways, etc. It has considerably slowed down, and that needs to come back on track. Electricity, there's a, I mean, you know, if you end the paralysis, uh, let the coal uh, become available, gas become available, a lot of capacity has already been created, actually. And so the electricity output can be raised very quickly, and therefore you can start, you know, bringing electricity to the rural, to the villages, and also for the industry, you can begin doing that. And I think also among the, I would say it's still, I will count among these quick reforms and lower hanging fruits. Uh, I would also include it, they will have to uh, uh, revisit and uh, amend again the uh, Land Acquisition Act. I think the current Land Acquisition Act is uh, uh, so uh, anti-entrepreneur uh, that uh, I think we'll have a great deal of difficulty.